morning, good evening, good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Um, so I'm bringing to you guys a, a book review as you can guess by the title. Um, I recently purchased Niall Wilson's Raising the Bar um, book and I got it from NW Clothing and I got the signed copy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So I am thoroughly excited to read this book. Um, Niall Wilson is such an icon for me. He's an absolute idol. He's one of my role models, obviously being on YouTube, being an athlete. Uh, I, I, I just love the guy. Honestly, if you're having a bad day, watch his, watch his channel. Just, just saying, <laughs> just saying I'm such a fangirl. <laughs> But anyway, so without further ado, I'm going to get stop rambling on because I already know it's going to be a long video because I think I'm going to do a chapter by chapter response to each um, chapter, obviously. Um, I'm sorry if there's any spoilers and you've not read it. Um, unfortunately, I can't control myself. So uh, obviously you will gather pretty quickly that I am such a fan of him. Um, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I've just read the first chapter of Niall Wilson's book and I just thought I'd pick up the camera because I want to document my opinions on the book. And obviously I respect Niall Wilson as an athlete so much and I'm very inspired by what he does. So naturally I am very biased towards him in this. But just from the start, he really talks about the importance of failure and fear and the importance of overcoming fear to achieve something and how important it is to fail in order to improve and I think this is such an important thing which not many people talk about in sport not many people talk about failure not many talk about like the hard times that they've gone through most people just talk about the success but I think that mentally it's so important to learn to deal with failure and I think he nails it so well um in this book like even even him talking about the way he approached his ankle injury in, in 2017 and the way he approaches stuff mentally, I think it's so important to learn from that. And I mean, don't get me wrong, like obviously he will have his lows, people do, but he always just mentally, he just uh, approaches things so well and I, I thoroughly find this so inspirational. Um, just because it takes so much to overcome like a failure and personally obviously with me being a swimmer I know what it's like to to put all your effort into to a race or an event and not succeed or not achieve a time you wanted to but and you know I know exactly how it can feel to have put so much effort into something and then just fail but I think what's so special about the way he um, analyzes failures he analyzes that it's a step forward rather than a step back and I think that's definitely something that we can all learn from I def definitely think that it's so interesting the way that he says that he approaches the failures in life and I know that I'm just rambling on but I thought um, I really wanted to review this book and I knew that I definitely wanted to review it on YouTube but just from reading the first chapter like I'm so inspired to just mentally look at things differently and consider the way he thinks and obviously that's why he's such a brilliant athlete and that's why he is the bronze medalist Olympic bronze medalist the Commonwealth gold medalist that he is but he's he's got that from learning these skills from a young age and I think not many people are taught these skills at a young age I think Obviously, as I was a swimmer at a young age, I don't remember being taught that failure is a good thing. I, I remember being taught failure was a bad thing. And I think that definitely we can take something from this. I mean, obviously the book's completely about um, gymnastics, but I think 
gymnastics is so similar to any other sport mentally i think we can definitely read this book and learn something from it um so yeah that's just me read the first chapter i just wanted to share that with you um i think i will document each chapter now seeing as um i've been so inspired from just reading the first chapter um but yeah so I will see you guys after I read the second chapter, I guess. <laughs> Just thought I'd take this opportunity to share with the YouTube community um, the beauty of this. Uh, now, obviously, there's pictures in this book, and uh, I'm not going to complain um, at all. <laughs> Okay, so I just thought I'd pick up the camera again. Um, I'm halfway through chapter two, and like this book has already hooked me, and I've gone through phases before of loving autobiographies and then loving novels, and I'm definitely in a novel phase at the moment, but I don't know what it is about this book, but it's definitely like dragged me in um, from the very first word. Um, so commendments to him. Um, but the, f the start of the second chapter is all about talking about mindset and the fact that mindset isn't just about um, your approach to, for, for him, gymnastics. I think so many people say that your mindset is how you approach swimming, in my case. But he definitely outlines the fact that your mindset is your whole approach to life. And I 100% agree with him. Like, And the way he talks about um, the pressure that's on him in the Olympic finals and stuff, like it's just incredible the way like he can speak so positively and control his mind so well like this is obviously why he is such a top class ad athlete like not many people can can have such a positive outlook but as he says that your attitude is a choice your attitude the way you have an attitude towards life towards something is definitely a choice and you choose whether or not to be positive or negative about a situation and i just think it's such an important thing to take from this book um the fact that you have to choose positivity like sometimes it'll be so hard to find positivity especially like in dark times of your life but i find it so inspirational the fact that he makes us all aware that you just have to choose positivity like why choose negativity when you can choose something more positive and uh, i 100 value this guy so much like just i'm on page 17 and uh, i'm so inspired like i've literally just picked up this book and i don't know like fair play to him like he's such an incredible not just as an incredible athlete but incredible human being just by the way he approaches certain things um so yeah i'm gonna carry on reading and then i'll probably pick up the camera again tonight um i don't think i've i'm not gonna read the book start to finish tonight but i, I I'm loving this. I'm hooked. So I'm going to carry on reading. Okay, so I'm aware that this video may or may not contain a little bit of spoilers. But, um, so I'm obviously in the second chapter. Um, we can all have the mindset of an Olympian. And in it, he's actually put, um, I think it's five tips. Is it five tips? Yeah, five tips um, to creating a positive mindset. Um, so I'm just going to share them with you because I think they're really important. Positive self-talk, goals, find fun and enjoyment, choose your attitude and visualisation. Now, I'm aware that that's kind of spoilers, but the detail behind this, behind each point he's written about why. And the detail is actually so in-depth, like the scientific knowledge, his personal experience. And it's so interesting to read because it's got both science and logic but also personal which can relate to your emotions so it links to the two scientific and emotions and i find that like absolutely incredible the way he's in such a short space like there's not much writing beneath each point but in such a small space he's managed to like include science and emotion in it's, it's incredible like i genuinely am in awe at how well written this book is and like to be honest like it's so well written and so striking and 
it's definitely helps with mindset and everything. Um, obviously, like I, th this past year, I've I've uh, been through my own ups and downs, and obviously, like mentally, I've been all over the place. But this this is it's so clear that it actually makes you feel stupid for not doing it. Um, the stuff like positive self talk, like just be kind to yourself. Like it's it's so clear that. To me, like it's it's just amazing how the fact that he can write something so simply and make you realise the ways that you can change. It it just makes me so motivated reading it. And I don't know if everyone else is the same. Please comment below if if you've read it and if you felt the same. But I definitely feel very motivated to look at my own mindset and my own mentality and and definitely choose i think that's such an important word within this to choose to be more um aware of what i'm doing mentally and yeah like it's just incredible okay so i'm about to start the third chapter and i'm not gonna lie i'm flying through this book but i'm just gonna take this time to say now wilson if you are watching this video i mean it's not like you would but <laughs> I'm just a small YouTuber, um, but if you are watching this, please, please Instagram me, um, tweet me, whatever, my, my, um, what are they called, at symbols, <laughs> they're below, like, honestly, you're such an inspiration, and, I mean, I'm not a gymnast, I never did gymnastics at school, um, I, I was always the little bit of a wimp, um, when I was a kid, obviously, like, now I am definitely more, um, experimental, I suppose you could say. <laughs> I, um, I value failure and daring to, to go for something and, um, overcoming fear and stuff. Um, but please, like, I'd love to learn more. I, or write another book, please, because I'm loving this. Like, it's honestly incredible. Okay, so um, I've just read chapter three and it's all about food and his obviously, like obviously his approach to food and how he's battled with food uh, previously. And I had no idea that this guy had um, been through this. Like he's obviously suffered with an eating disorder. Well, suffered is the right word. He'd obviously had an eating disorder and his approach to food has been difficult. And I know a lot of people do struggle with this. And it's so important that he is addressing both mental and physical health in this book. I think not enough people, especially not, in, not enough people who are role models, so to speak, talk about mental health. And obviously I'm, I'm a massive advocate of mental health with my run for mind and stuff. Um, I'm a massive advocate for talking openly about mental health to end the stigma. Obviously I went back to school to talk about um, ending the stigma and stuff. Um, but it's incredible how this guy talks about this and like, he's just, it makes you realize that he's just a normal person. And it makes you almost realize that you could get to where he's got to, um, just through a little bit of hard work and dedication. Um, the way he's outlined his mindset, he's made it seem so realistic. And obviously it is. And like, just the way he outlines his battles with food, his stuff, like it makes him seem so human and kind of brings him down off this massive pedestal that we put um, our Olympic athletes on. And it makes him seem like such a down to earth kind of guy. And obviously he comes across that way in his YouTube videos. I'm a massive fan of his YouTube channel. Check it out, Niall, Niall Wilson and Neil and Niall Vlogs. If you're having a bad day, if I'm having a bad day, I can always rely on Neil and Nile vlogs to cheer me up, like 100%. That is literally what I binge watch if I am having a bad day. I will sit in my bed with a box of chocolates and just watch Neil and Nile vlogs. But I'm getting off topic here, so... Um, yeah, like, the way he's outlined um, his problems with eating... Um, it makes it seem normal and obviously it is normal to overcome such mental health issues but I think in today's society we kind of shy away from talking about mental health and I think we kind of shy away from it being like oh oh that's not normal but really it is like everybody goes through mental health to such a to varying degrees and obviously like 
even even though he's went through eating problems, eating disorders, like he the the tips that he gives could be reflected um, with anything such as like depression, anxiety, and any other mental health disorders, because the the number one thing that he's put that helped him overcome his eating dis he eating problem it says here is being open about it to his family and friends and i think that's such an important thing we need to open the communication barrier about mental health and we need to create a support system and and you know like talk about it because shutting it out and pretending it's not there is really not healthy and it it really is important to get help and the fact that he said that here, like, I 100% value him. Like, obviously, you know, he's opening up about something that he's battled, he's went through. And considering he, like, talks so well about his mental mental um, health and stuff and his um, mentality, I think it is important to remember that we all go through stuff. Um, I feel like I'm just rambling on, but I, I honestly... I am loving this book so much and the stuff that he's talking about I am so passionate about obviously health and fitness is my kind of thing um obviously being a swimmer I I know what it's like to have the pressure to compete and compete well and I just am absolutely loving this book because it really hits home for me and I think the good thing about it is because it doesn't specifically target athletes I think it targets everybody so even people who are like in daily life can can be um can be impacted on the words that he's saying on the page like you don't have to be an athlete to understand and I think that just shows how well written this book is okay so I've just finished the final wordy chapter um which is titled love the journey and I like love the way that this is written like I, as you can tell through this whole video I am 100% a fan of this book this is the best book I have read written <laughs> I didn't write it <laughs> it's the best book I've read in such a long time and the fact that he's left a separate chapter for loving the journey I think is something that really resonates for me um if you've not watched my swimming journey I'll leave the link below um I fell into the trap of not thinking about enjoyment and thinking about outcome too much and so mentally that was really unhealthy for me and obviously I had my struggles through that because I was sorry too too busy focused about the outcome and not enjoying the process of training and enjoying achieving certain things and meeting new people and stuff and I think it's such an important thing, not just in swimming, not just in gymnastics, but in daily life to just love the journey that we're on. We're all on a different journey and, you know, everything happens for a reason. I sound like my mum, I know, but it, it, it's really true. And we just have to love the fact that we're given such a beautiful life and such, such an amazing life. You know, if you're watching this, you obviously have a method to watch YouTube. Now, you obviously have internet, you obviously have either a phone or a laptop or an iPad or something. It means you are privileged in certain ways. I think it's so important to love the journey that we're on. And I definitely agree with this guy, this guy. I say this guy, he's, you know, he's, a, he's an Olympic athlete, but I definitely agree with him that it is so important to love the journey that we're on and enjoy it. Sometimes we can get so focused on something so small when realistically, we just have to enjoy it. And I, I definitely think that that is um, a valid thing to take away from this book. So one last thing I'd just like to add about this book is there's like little weekly schedules and training plans within the, within the book itself with pictures of how to do each thing and things like that. There is um, challenges and so on. But I love the fact that it encompasses 
so many different things so there's cardio there's handstand there's full body there's core there's flexibility there's rest which is obviously so important but there's also mindset and i think the fact that he values the fact that it's focusing on his face it's not focusing on the words (laughs) um yeah the fact that it values he values the fact that mindset is important to take a day to work on obviously your mindset does need to be trained um I think the fact that he's he's done that is incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to use this stuff. Um, obviously, one of my goals this year is to get to learn to do a handstand. Um, I'm definitely going to use all of this. Um, so yeah. So that's my chapter by chapter review and obviously I have loved this book if you haven't gathered. Um, I 100% have loved it. It's been an incredible book to read. Um, the fact that it's so well written and so beautifully put is incredible. Um, my only criticism is it's not long enough. I want more. I want to know more. I I need to know more. Um, so as I said before, Niall, if you're watching this, please just slide into my DMs. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, so obviously I 100% recommend this book to you guys. Um, Definitely get your hands on it. I don't know how much um, there is in stock. I got mine from NW Clothing, um, which meant that I managed to get my hands on, (laughs) fangirl moment, on a signed copy. (laughs) Just saying. I'm such a big fan. Um, But yeah, definitely get your hands on this book. It's a perfect Christmas gift. Perfect Christmas gift. Perfect birthday gift. Perfect anything. Definitely, honestly, it's such a good read for anybody athletic, for anybody who's not athletic, for anybody in general. (laughs) What am I doing? So yeah, please, please get your hands on the book. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Please give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Click the subscribe button to see more videos from me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!